What is up everybody? Welcome back to Vogelstein. So today we have <clears throat> something in my throat apparently. What is up everybody? Welcome back to Vogelstang. Thanks for tuning into this video. So today is a busy day. We got lots of stuff to do. Number one, we are changing the oil. 5W20, a new oil filter, a full synthetic mobile one. Then we've got some Steeda ultralight jacking rails to put on. And I know, of course, they're not gonna be, you know, Okay, so I mentioned before that I wanted to take the car drag racing and throwing extra weight on the car is not good for drag racing. So, um, but I did weigh these and they're only like 12 pounds. So that's not so bad. Um, but if I really feel the need to save, uh, you know, save that extra 12 pounds and, you know, try and do the best time that I can, uh, removing as much weight as I can, you know, I'll take them off before I go to the track, you know, so I'm not too worried about it. And one final thing that we have, we have some Instagram stickers to throw on. Yep, that's right. Here we go. There we go. So we just got those. We'll throw those on. Today's video is mainly going to be about um, putting on the Steve Jack and Rails. So let me get this oil change finished and we'll uh, we'll move on to the install. All right, so oil change is done and now we're ready for uh, the Steeda ultralight jacking rails to get installed. And uh, one thing to note uh, when doing this installation is that the passenger side rail is a tiny bit shorter than the driver side rail. So make sure that you get the right one on the right side. So if you look here, you can see they're both even at that end and we get to the other end and there we go it's about like an, i don't know an inch three quarters of an inch shorter so uh just make sure that you get the right one on the right side so if we look under here oh oh my bolts just fell out they're in my pocket <laughs> all right so so we'll be removing I'm on a driver's side now obviously um, I think obviously we'll be removing these two bolts here one two and we keep going keep going uh, one extension cord There's two more bolts here, but we only use we're only going to use this one right here. So this is going to be 15 millimeter socket. Um, I did notice on Mustang 6G that someone said there should be torque to 45 pounds. Yeah. It's just the angle. I gotta get the right angle. Weird angle. That's all it took. Alright, so I was just going in completely at the wrong angle. So I just had to feel how the angle should be. So I 
just threaded it in by hand without the bar there and I was able to see what kind of angle I need to be at for it. And that went in much easier. Need help? Yeah! I need assistance. What do you need? Can you scratch my leg? Thanks. That's it? What you needed? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, nice and easy. Torque wrench. Alrighty. Alright. That was a click, right? See it provides these little nice caps here. Throw the caps in. Alright, so here we are back on the driver's side, and it's going to be this one right here. <sighs> totally, totally missed it. But, at least I had a good reason. So that is it. So it'll make jacking up the car much more easier. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. This Mustang's getting more mods, baby. See you next time. Later.